The future of warfare is downright scary. As the US competes with China and Russia, will we push technology too far? This is America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode has been sponsored by Mova Globes. It's the age-old question. War, ugh, good God, y'all. What is it good for? Well, it's good for driving technological developments to create more and more deadly weapons. The field of robotics combined with artificial intelligence will change everything. Now, assuming the robots don't rise up and destroy humanity on their own, the future of warfare will depend on how the US, Russia, and China develop these high-tech tools. Until we invent time travel, and then go back to the 90s to stop ourselves from inventing these things in the first place. According to a 2017 report, the US is falling behind Russia and China in artificial intelligence. The report warns that the US military must now decide if it wants to lead the coming revolution or fall victim to it. China is a world leader in robotics. My goodness, they look almost human. Chinese leader Xi Jinping is making a push to modernize China's military, and that involves billions for AI and robotics research. Meanwhile, Russia is reportedly building an AI-powered missile that can think for itself, which is pretty dangerous. After the missile started thinking for itself, it called Vladimir Putin's presidency a farce. And now that missile is in prison. But Putin has said whoever leads in AI will rule the world. Russia also has the Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, or FEDOR. It's a gun-toting robot that they sent into space to the International Space Station. There were no survivors. So what new robotic AI weapons of war do we have to look forward to here in the US? Here are the top five. Number five. According to the US Army website, US troops are experimenting with AI Goggles? Wait a minute. Russia has a gun-toting robot, and the US has AI goggles. These had better be some pretty special goggles. Okay, let's see. They are virtual reality goggles that will allow soldiers to rehearse combat missions. So, an Oculus Rift. They're giving soldiers Oculus Rifts. Oh, but get this. These goggles have significant amounts of high-tech sensors on board and processors. That sounds like it was written by my grandmother, who would not recognize a sensor or processor if she was wearing it on her face. Do the goggles have buttons as well? Or should I call them high-tech sensors that respond to manual pressure? Nevertheless, they are touted by senior leaders as a game-changer for soldier lethality and a quick win for the modernization priority. We are in such trouble. Number four. You've probably heard of UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles. You know, drones. But there's also a whole field of UUVs, unmanned underwater vehicles. The Navy has been testing and fielding several new systems designed to map the ocean floor, seek out mines, search for submarines, and even launch attacks. The undersea domain, while often overlooked, could one day be as contested as the surface of the sea, the skies, and even space. Oh good, we can fight a war literally anywhere now. Unfortunately, underwater war movies really won't be as good without people. Number three. Drones have a pretty nasty reputation as deadly weapons of war, but drone swarms are a whole nother monster. The idea is that instead of a single big drone, you have hundreds of smaller drones that work together using artificial intelligence. According to this Brookings Institute report, swarms of quadcopters, each packing several kilograms of explosives, thus able to destroy a modern jet if detonated at the right location, might attack NATO air bases and the aircraft on them. And unfortunately for the US, China is making progress at creating the drone swarm. This footage isn't particularly scary, but it represents a huge scientific breakthrough. One Chinese company got 119 drones in the air, all communicating with each other in real time and coordinating their movements faster and more precisely than human pilots ever could. 
The good news is that the U.S. military is also developing drone swarm technology, although they're also wondering how smart to make the drones. I'm gonna say make it smarter than this missile. Number two. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. The Pentagon is working on robotic exoskeletons, just like Edge of Tomorrow, which takes place in the year 2020. Uh-oh. One exoskeleton model being developed now is the Onyx by Lockheed Martin. We know users go up steep inclines while carrying heavy loads, and we know they run upstairs while under heavy load as well. So those are the two core concepts that we wanted to exercise. Okay, not quite as cool as being able to jump off that tall building, but it does allow soldiers to lift heavier things and go further. Russia and China are also working on their own exoskeleton designs, their version of Hold My Beer. And don't worry, Lockheed Martin is also working on a civilian model called the Fortis. And so you never need to go to the gym again. And number one. Now we're really talking. Cyborg soldiers. An army bioengineering researcher says, as a convergence of biology, engineering, and artificial intelligence, we will be able to enhance human beings in a way that changes how they see, hear, think, communicate, and move. What does that look like? Remember that drone swarm? A computer chip in a soldier's brain will let him control it with his mind. We're talking computer-enhanced hearing, vision, strength, and communication. And it could be here as soon as 2050, according to this Department of Defense report. What's that, Shelley? Ethics. Ethics are for losers. People who want to lose a war to China, that is. Because there are already AI-human hybrid soldiers being developed in China. Unless that's an exaggerated threat being pushed by the U.S. military so they can get unlimited funding. But that's crazy. When has the military ever asked for unnecessary funding? So what do you think about this brave new world of military technology? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for a cool high-tech gift, why not check out Mova Globes? You've seen a Mova Globe on my desk before. The technology is really amazing. When you pick it up, it keeps spinning. And when you put it back on its base, it corrects its motion and starts rotating. No cords, no batteries, it just works. It's powered by ambient light. MOVA also has dozens of other cool designs too. So click the link in the description below and pick your favorite version. And when you buy a MOVA globe, you'll also be supporting your favorite show about America. So click below to check it out now. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.